fun with Boo Boo and the Little Owls as they adventure through the world. Look, Boo Boo! And make new friends. Watch Boo Boo and the Little Owls here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. There's a place we can go today. And it's a place where we all can play. Friendly faces, lots of fun, you see. And I know it's there for you and me. It's a colorful world we live in. There's a rainbow faces everywhere. And everyone is beautiful for who they are inside. It's a world. Anywhere. And anyway, we're almost there. Look! <laughs> that slide is slide delicious. Skill dee pop, skill dee dee bee. Take a look at that slide. I can't wait until I go for a ride. <laughs> Ready for the super twisty, slippery slide, Tanner? I know. Slow, and I'm ready to go. You may be slow going up the slide, but I'll bet you're as fast as everybody else coming down. <laughs> you, uh, want some help? <laughs> yeah. I'm slipping and sliding before I even get on the slide. Hey! Coming through! Do you mind? Who's that? That's Barry. He doesn't like waiting in line, so we always cut. Move it, Nutcracker! Why don't you just tell him there are no cuts? No one ever says no to Barry. Step aside, Runt! Let me through! <laughs> What's the problem, Slowpoke? Uh, just forget it, I'll go around you. What's he doing on the slide anyway? He's, he's holding up the line. He's a turtle. He's going as fast as he can. Well, I've got news for you, turtle. You're too slow to go on the slide, so move out of my way. <laughs> Excuse me. What did you say? <coughs> Just clearing my throat. <laughs> Thought so. Listen up, everybody. From now on, there's a new rule. No turtles allowed on this slide. Got that? No turtles allowed. Anyone got a problem with that? Tanner, where are you going? It's okay. You all go without me. We never do that, Tanner. Everyone's allowed on the slide. That's right. Yeah. Everyone. Not anymore. <laughs> it's okay, Betty. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Barry is horrible. Did he hurt you? I'm okay. But we're not going on that slide without you, Tanner. Come on, we'll figure something out. How dare Barry treat everyone like that, cutting in line and taking on Tanner? Yeah, Tanner. You didn't do anything to him. And why does Barry get to make up rules about who can go on the slide? 
He's just bullying all of us so that we'll be afraid of him and do whatever he says. I don't want to go anywhere near that slide if Barry's there. It's just not fair. And it's not right. But I am slow. Then we'll help you get faster. That way, Barry can't say you're too slow. Who cares what that bully says? Well, we can still try to help Tanner. Maybe I could fly him up to the top of the slide. I don't think so. I like to stay low to the ground. How about roller skates? I do like to roller skate. Oh, you can use mine. Great. We just need to tighten them up to fit his feet. I hope they oh, That's better. I look snazzy. Stop, 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 stop. Let's test it out. Well, that didn't work. It needs more room to get up the hill. I have just the thing. Okay, Tanner, fire him up. <laughs> Bubble-powered fans need a mosquito. Best in heaven of what? Tanner? You okay, buddy? Mm. How can I get up to the slide if I can't climb steps? I've got another idea. <laughs> Any sign of Barry? Not so far. You ready, Tanner? Skedaddy, Aunt Dutton. Scat and Bob for Freddy. I'm taking this slide. I've never been so Then everybody, coming through. What's that turtle doing back here? Don't you remember the rule? No turtles. You said no turtles because Tanner is too slow. But that's not a problem anymore. Show him, Tanner. See? Tanner can go up those stairs faster than anyone now. Dig it. So now Tanner is allowed to go on the slide. You don't get it, do you? I make the rules, and what I say goes. No turtles. But why? Because I said so, that's why. Anyone else have any questions? Tell your turtle friend to go home. No! Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? You can't keep turtles off the slide. Like I just told you, a rule is a rule. But you made up the rule. Yeah, so you better follow it. But that's not fair. What if someone else made up a rule that said you couldn't go on the slide because you're too big? Would that be fair? <laughs> Tanner is our friend, and he's going on the slide with us, slow or not. Says who? Says me. And us. Me too. And me. And me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry, wait a second. Huh? You can still go on the slide with us. Me? Yeah, you. Why? Why not? The slide is for everyone. Even if you're slow like a turtle. Or fast like a kangaroo. Or even big like you. But you'll have to wait your turn in line just like everyone else. That's only fair and right. Well, okay, I guess. Wait, one more thing. You won't need these skates anymore, Tanner. I won't. We'll be right behind you so we can give you a push whenever you need it. Right? Sure. What's the rush? 
And everyone, follow me. Bullies only stay bullies when everyone acts afraid. All of us knew that what Barry was doing was wrong. And together, we stood up to him. We made it right. And now, everybody can go on the slide. Last one to the bottom is a smelly sock. I know how to slide, but I don't know how to stop. Hang on, Tanner. I'll catch you. See you next time. Love, Todd. We did it. Wherever you start, SNHU is where you can finish. Here we go. And it's it. Yay! Southern New Hampshire University. That fits the whole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Master's degree! I did it! I did this for my children. I am very proud of myself. Finish your degree at snhu.edu. At Finger Hut, we don't define you by your credit score. We celebrate you being you. So we offer low monthly payments on the stuff you need, things you love, and brands you trust as you build your credit history with a Finger Hut credit account. If you're looking for the latest electronics, kitchen essentials, clothes, toys, and more, you'll find it all at Finger Hut. You do you, and we'll help build your credit at FingerHut.com. Finger Hut credit accounts are issued by WebBank member at DIC. Wow, that's a big wig. Are you getting ready for Halloween? Not really. It's for a school play where I get to play a British high court judge. A high court judge? That sounds pretty big wig. Big wig? Get it? <laughs> In the 17th century, wigs were not only fashion statements, but also showed a person's social status. Wigs were expensive to buy and keep in good condition, so only the very rich and powerful people could afford them. Big wig refers to people who are rich, powerful, and very important. So, does that mean the bigger the wig, the more important the person? If so, then bow before me, my minion. Excuse me, who are you calling your minion? Or should I call you my Moonion instead? Would you prefer that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye! See yourself. Welcome back to the mirror. And know you're not alone. Because this is not just a mirror. It's an unstoppable community. Come on, Jesse, one more. It's a race across time zones. Come on, you two. Let's go. A gift for the whole family. So join in now and see your best self in the mirror. Slide while the iron is hot. Dry toast. Aw, oh, man, come on. Those nachos look pretty good. They are. All snacks are half price from three to four. That's only 10 more minutes. You'd better strike while the iron is hot. No, Moon, this is baseball. Strikes are bad. I don't want strikes at all. Strike while the iron is hot means make the most of an opportunity. Don't wait too long. It's an old blacksmith's phrase. Striking while the iron is hot dates back to at least the Middle Ages when blacksmiths still made metal horseshoes by hand. They had to heat up the metal and shape it with a hammer and other tools immediately after it came out of the fire. Otherwise, the metal would get less pliable as it cooled and the opportunity to shape it would be lost. Over the years, we started to use the same phrase to mean take advantage of an opportunity now while it's still there. Good to know. All right. I'll be back. Gotta hurry so I can watch my team beat yours. But we're cheering for the same team. Ah, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Go team! <laughs> yeah, okay. Get to know the Da Vinci family. Pablo, his sister Zoe, and the hilarious Uncle Leo Da Vinci. Uh, I love doing things together as a family. The Da Vinciables, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Hey everyone, let's listen to the Todd World Music Video Jukebox. You must take a stand if you believe that you're right. You have to be strong, but you don't need to fight. You 
can feel it inside you, that voice from within. If something's not fair, you don't have to give me. says, do what I say. If I don't say Benny says, don't do it, or you're out of the game. <laughs> Benny says, roll over. <laughs> Sit. Uh-uh. I didn't say Benny says. Todd, the Worminis, and the puppies are out. I've got a really great prize for the winner. So get ready. And Benny says... Scratch your ear. Chase your tail. Uh-uh. I didn't say Benny says. Leaping lima beans, Mitzi wins. I'll get the prizes. Second place gets to keep this bone I dug up in the park. You can take it home. And Mitzi gets to play with my favorite ball, Bouncing Boris. <laughs> the puppies love Bouncing Boris. And Zabuna likes the jingle bell inside. Boris is my all-time number one favorite ball, so you can only play with him here. You can't take him home, okay? <laughs> sure, Benny, no problem. Go on, go on, play. Well, it would be even more fun if everyone played with Bouncing Boris. Great idea! Catch it, puppies! <laughs> Here comes Bouncing Boris! Hey! Benny says it's lunchtime! It's your lunchtime, too, guys! Bark will want you back home. <laughs> oh, I can see you three are ready to eat. Bye, Mitzi. Bye, puppies. Bye, Zabuna. Let's go digging soon. <laughs> Bye, Worminis. Say hi to Pickle. Do I know how to throw a party? You're the dog. Ready for lunch? <laughs> Delish. Time for a little after lunch playtime. Starring. Bouncing Boris! Yeah! Oh, it's time for Bouncing Boris. Gonna chew him, gonna bounce him, gonna throw him up in the air. is gone. Are you sure? Did you look everywhere? Yeah. I can't find them. <laughs> Somebody took them. Somebody stole him. <laughs> Whoa, Benny. Nobody's been here but us and Zabuna. And... That's who took Bouncing Boris. Remember how much he liked the Jingle Bell inside? Oh, yeah. It was him, all right. He had that look in his eye. Now, wait a second, Benny. You don't know that he took it. I'm coming! I'm coming, Bouncing Boris! Benny, wait! <laughs> Never fear, Bouncing Boris! <laughs> the best is here! <laughs> Nobody takes 
bouncing bars from me. Benny, greetings, welcome, and hello. Have you come to join us for the grand celebration of feeding and scratching the pets? No. I want bouncing Boris. Zabuna stole him. So give him back, Zabuna. You are wrong in your thinking. Zabuna does not take what is not his. He would not do that to anyone, especially not a friend. How do you know Zabuna didn't take him? No. <laughs> Hey, that's right. You couldn't have taken Bouncing Boris, Sabuna. You had the bone in your mouth. You see? You were wrong. So, if Zabuna didn't take Bouncing Boris, then Mitzi did. <laughs> Mitzi wanted Boris so the puppies could play with him. Well, they can't have him. He's mine. <clears throat> <laughs> Look, Uncle Benny's come to visit. Hmm. <laughs> Where did you hide him? I want him back. Hide who? My bouncing Boris. You took him. Huh? Mitzi wouldn't take your ball, Benny. She's not like that. Oh, and how could I possibly have taken him, Benny? I had the puppy's leashes in my mouth when we left the party. Hey! You're right! You couldn't have taken Bouncing Boris. The Warminis took him! My favorite ball. The Worminis took it for their circus act. I know it. Wrong! <laughs> the Worminis wouldn't steal your ball. <laughs> and they came rolling home, holding each other's tails. So how could they have taken anything anyway? <laughs> Benny, the Worminis feel bad. Look at them. Aren't you going to say something to them? Yeah. I miss Bouncing Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, there you are. I was getting worried. Did you find Bouncing Boris? No. <gasps> yes! I guess I tossed you when the clock rang lunch. And he fell between the couch cushions. He's been there all this time, Benny. Todd, I did something bad. Huh? I blamed my friends for stealing Boris, and they didn't. <laughs> wow. I bet they're really upset with you. What are you going to do, Benny? I guess. I should apologize. <laughs> I made a big mistake. I accused all of you of stealing Bouncing Boris. And I was wrong to do that. I'm really sorry. We're your friends, Benny. We wouldn't take your ball. I know. Can you guys forgive me? I'm really, 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 really sorry. Hmm. Aw, oh, you guys are the best. <coughs> Let's play with Bouncing Boris. It's really important to stop and think before you accuse somebody of doing something wrong. And if you're the one who's wrong, make sure you say you're sorry. <laughs> See you next time, Love Talk!
I sent your new prescription to the pharmacy. Any idea how much it will cost? I recommend GoodRx. You get free coupons to save on your prescriptions. GoodRx. Smart. Stop paying too much for your prescriptions. Thanks. Download the free app today. Check your free credit scores at Credit Karma. I feel happy. Happy feels like love and peace. And, and it just feels exciting in your heart. And it feels happy. But happy doesn't feel happy. happy. And, your, and your heart is not small, it's big. I would be so happy to go to space because I would like um, to see all the planets. I get really happy when I wear my slime shoes and, and I eat popcorn. When somebody says they love me, I'm happy because they make me feel good. What would make me the happiest in the world if I got the most money in the world and 100 dog stuffed animals? The Mother Company. When schools close, there are real consequences for kids, especially those living in the most vulnerable areas. And with millions of American children without access to books or online learning at home, the importance of educators has never been greater than it is right now. That's why ION and leading nonprofit organization First Book want to say thank you to all of the teachers who have gone above and beyond during this crisis to keep kids learning. Visit firstbook.org slash thanks to donate brand new books to children who need them most. Hey, kiddos. Do you know who I am? Hmm, let's see. Will you recognize me if I do this? Some people hear us before they see us. Listen again. You guessed it. I'm the woodpecker. The great spotted woodpecker, to be precise. You'll find woodpeckers anywhere in the world except Australia, New Zealand, and Antarctica. Antarctica? <laughs> Cold, no trees. Well, you can imagine why we don't live there. We need trees because we live amongst them. Well, a few of us prefer deserts over forests or woods. Go figure. Ah, oh, that's better. We tree climber woodpeckers have powerful feet that help us to grip and cling to a tree trunk. Like so. Humans need machines, but we use our beaks to hammer away at tree trunks or branches, and we do this for different reasons. To build homes for ourselves. Hey! Or to catch our food with our long, long tongue. We eat insects. And we also eat fruits. And here's a hole I made earlier. I store my nuts here. Anyway, some say that the holes we drill in trees damage them, but that's not true. I said that's not true. Look, we only attack the wooden trees that has already been weakened by insects. We don't hurt trees. We love trees. And don't worry, this drilling doesn't hurt me. Unlike him, we have a built-in shock absorber that stops us from knocking ourselves out. Oops, I better see if this guy is okay. Listen out for us. Bye. 